Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be taking a look at two new headphones in our quest to build the ultimate gaming rig for Battlefield 4. The first headphone I'm going to be unboxing here is the Rockat Cave. Now I've become quite a fan of the Rockat mice, or at least a particular Rockat mouse, and I thought I would try out one of their gaming headphones here. This one is definitely a large pair of headphones, uh, much bigger than most of the competition I've seen out there. It comes with four audio input jacks and a USB plug for the microphone. It is technically a surround sound headset in that it has multiple drivers per earpiece. Part of the downside with that is that it's also quite a heavy headset. Luckily, it is built very durably. I don't think that uh, earpieces are ever going to come off of this, which can be a problem for some of the other large headsets out there. The microphone is removable if you don't need it for gaming. The height adjustments on the earpiece actually have numbers, which is convenient if you want to be precise about the distance on either side. You can fold them up for traveling, which I found to be... Uh, moderately convenient. It also comes with an interesting little mixer box here that flips open and you can adjust your surround sound volume settings, you can adjust your sub settings, you can adjust the general volume, and you can switch it between game and movie mode if you want to have better game effects or if you want uh, something a little bit more deep for say action films or something like that. Now once I put the headphones on and tried them out in Battlefield 4 beta, um, I have to say that adjusting the surround sound settings on there seemed almost like something you shouldn't ever touch because it seems like the headphone is probably best balanced from the start and once you start tweaking some of the surround sound settings on there you start to lose your sense of 3D uh, audio perception in game so I feel like those features are really not necessary. Now there's been a pretty big debate over whether um, multiple drivers per earpiece in a headphone are going to actually improve your three-dimensional perception of sound uh, or if just having one driver per headphone that's just properly tweaked and properly set up is actually a better way to go. Now, there was a little bit of three-dimensional hearing with these headphones, but I've been using stereo headphones for a while, some pretty top-end stereo headphones, and I felt like I had better control over um, 3D positioning than I did with these headphones, even though they have multiple drivers per earpiece. Also, because of the multiple drivers, I mentioned that the headphones are a little bit heavy. These headphones are not just a little bit heavy, they are quite heavy, which is something that if you are a hardcore gamer, which these headphones are marketed towards, you're going to be wanting to game for hours, multiple hours on end. And this is going to, without a doubt, give you neck pains, uh, neck cramps. It's just going to be a very, very headphone, very, very heavy headphone and uh, it's just not ideal for long extended periods of gaming. Now the microphone was more than adequate, it actually gave pretty darn good sound quality uh, when communicating with teammates. I certainly wouldn't use it for doing voiceovers on YouTube, but for gaming purposes it's definitely good. Uh, and although I did kind of rag on the 3D positioning audio quality, it wasn't bad. I was definitely able to try and anticipate where my, teammate, where my teammates were, where my enemies were, where gunshot sounds were coming from. So it was certainly a useful headphone, but I've had better. Now I think it's also worth mentioning that uh, the Kave XTD is coming out also, and that's going to have a built-in mixer instead of that little mixer box. Uh, it's going to have like a USB mixer that's going to give you a lot of different input options. Um, if you're into recording or doing YouTube stuff, it will be a nice little upgrade from this headphone. I don't know if the audio quality is going to change, but it will certainly give you input options uh, that are superior to this headphone. Now let's take a look at a brand new headphone that's on the market. This is the Plantronics Rig gaming headset. Now Plantronics has been making some gaming headphones for a while now. A lot of them are really hardcore based headphones, and this one is geared a little bit more towards the casual gamer, but it comes with some really impressive hardware nonetheless. As you can see, the headphone is definitely a much lower profile design. The box design itself is actually quite sleek. It sort of bears a little bit of resemblance to, I would say, the Astro A40s in terms of um, just stylizing and stuff like that. It's got a little bit of an orange theme going on. The interior, the headphone cups are orange. And uh, I gotta say, these are good looking headphones. Now, part of the design behind these is not only are they gonna be good for gaming, but you can pop them off of your gaming rig and use them uh, as just headphones for walking around, listening to music, uh, doing whatever, because they are cool looking. 
They have a nice mesh covering to a lot of the parts there that looks really elegant, and the weight of these headphones is extremely light, so you can just pop these on your head and not really even notice that they're there. Now the audio cables that come with this set of headphones really allow you for a huge variety of how you're going to set up your sound system, whether you're going to mix between speakers and your headphones and switch back and forth. This uh, rig headphone just gives you so many options, and this little device here is the USB mixer, and it's probably one of the coolest things, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. The microphone is removable, and you can actually set up your headset with uh, either this microphone or it has another dongle that's just plugs into the headphone if you want to walk around and listen to mp3s or just not use the microphone on this headset it can only plug into one side of the headphones which is fine i honestly don't really have a preference if the microphone is on my left or right side like the rock hat this is a usb microphone and it's going to allow you to separate your recording audio channels from your gaming audio channels if that's something that you prefer to do. Now once I pop these headphones on I will say that the comfort level of these versus the Rockat ones was just instantaneously a more enjoyable experience. Uh, the 3D positional audio was something that I was able to tweak and get performing a little bit better using um, my motherboard sound mixer and trying to make sure that uh, I had the right sound settings and stuff like that. A little bit more complicated of an experience. I was able to locate guys 3D wise, but I will say the Rock Hat kind of edges this one out in terms of 3D positional audio. Certainly not in the comfort area though. Now with the little mixer on board here, I was able to basically set up my audio plugs any way I want. There's a uh, optical input jack on the mixer, there's a USB audio uh, mixer so you can simply just plug it in via USB and get your sound that way. Um, you can also plug it in via 3.5 millimeter jacks and uh, you just have so many options for how you want to connect your audio devices to your headphones. You can also plug in uh, an MP3 player or cell phone and in fact you can plug in your cell phone to the rig and take calls on your cell phone using the microphone on your headphones which is honestly a feature that I'm looking forward to using because sometimes I do get calls while I'm gaming and they're business calls and need to take them and talk and I can't necessarily leave my gaming session especially if I'm on a good kill streak or getting some really good gaming footage. It even allows you to mix between the audio levels between your cell phone and your gaming so you can make sure very quickly that you can hear both the game and the person you're talking to. So just a really really great little audio mixer. Previously one of the only decent ones on the market was the one that Astro makes and I gotta say that the one that Rig or uh, Plantronics makes is far superior than the Astro mix amp. Now I really like the headphones in terms of extended use. I wouldn't say that they're the best ones for competitive gaming just because of the positional audio. But in terms of comfort and versatility I actually like them and I found myself using them a bit just because uh, they look cool, they feel good. And that's a really big thing for extended periods of gaming for me is comfort that weighs in almost as much as co uh, competitiveness. Now I am without a doubt going to continue using the little rig mixer on here uh, and you have the option to plug in any headphones you want to the mixer. So if you love the mixer but you're not in love with the headphones you can simply just plug in different headphones to that mixer. Um, I highly recommend these rig headphones regardless. I think they're a lot of fun. They're very cool. And in terms of price, they're definitely competitive with a lot of the other headphones that fill into this sort of casual competitive niche. So that pretty much wraps it up for my headphone review. If you are serious about gaming and competition, make sure you've got a sound system that is going to help you locate your enemies and be very comfortable while gaming. You want to make sure you don't have any sort of discomfort while gaming so all your mental capacity can be focused on outsmarting your enemies. If you want to know more about these products, they are linked in the video description. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.